Welcome back to Making It TV Presents. Our special guest today is Mr. Walter Rhodes, Chief Procurement Officer for SoCal Edison. Now his job requires him to approve billions of dollars in supplies and services, so it's critical that he has good relationships with all of his vendors. But relations with community organizations are equally important. Mr. Rhodes will explain why. At Edison, we manage about four and a half billion dollars of material and services on an annual basis. And we organize it, uh, first of all, to support our business needs of providing safe, reliable, and affordable energy to our customers. Then, for the supply management or process standpoint, uh, they're aligned around commodities. Uh, there are about 10 major commodities that we will buy. So some of those are, we buy about $100 million a year in transformers. We buy about $100 million a year in wire. Uh, so those 10 commodities are the areas that our large business partners have pursued over the last 10, 15 years. Uh, and we're trying to develop small, diverse businesses uh, also to pursue those business interests. A substantial number of all utilities operate in a regulated environment. These regulations help shape the expenditures of companies such as Edison. Yes, for a number of years uh, we've had regulatory policy that would suggest that uh, we support the communities that we serve. And a large part of those communities that we serve are based on what we call DBEs, Diversified Business Interest. They make up over 40% uh, of our customer base. Uh, we serve the 12 million customers that we have. We serve the largest diverse group of customers in the nation. We want our customer base and the way we spend those dollars to support those customers to reflect that diversity. Walter has a broad background in the energy business, including renewable sources. He shares his thoughts with us regarding the current trends in that area. In the renewable sector, uh, and again, getting back to the regulatory policy that guides uh, the investor-owned utility uh, segment in which we serve, uh, the uh, CPUC uh, has recommended and, and in fact mandated that by 2020, uh, a large percentage of our uh, generation, for our customers, come from renewable sources. Uh, Edison uh, leads uh, in California and yet and in the nation uh, in making sure that in that renewable energy sector that we acquire uh, where feasible uh, the, those the renewable energies uh, to service our customers. So I see wind and solar uh, in California because our economic position in our geography. I see solar playing a major role in our energy a portfolio in the years to come. Improved technologies always lead to new and more efficient ways to do business. Uh, I think you're going to see the uh, opportunities around distributed uh, energy and the smart technology, the smart grid, uh, and keeping our suppliers, our small diverse businesses connected with those large firms who've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, in becoming leading edge partners. So on an annual basis, we'll make sure that our large providers uh, on the smart grid team up with new and growing small diverse businesses so that they can grow along with those large providers. Many entrepreneurs would like to know about the key steps in getting to do business with a large utility company like Southern California Edison. Being certified is one of them. For the investor on utilities in California, we have a certification clearinghouse that is, a, I'm going to call it, one of the first process steps you have to go through. Okay, you know. uh, the next part of it uh, is becoming linked uh, in the outreach infrastructure with uh, the invest on utilities in the state of California. Each one of the invest on utilities has a major role and a major focus on making sure that we outreach to our providers and hold their hand through the qualification and developmental process. In Edison, uh, we're very uh, proud of the fact uh, that we spend uh, a lot of time and indeed a lot of dollars to make sure that we develop these suppliers and jointly help them through the developmental process in becoming viable suppliers to Edison. Walter Rhodes is also an experienced entrepreneur and gives great advice for those companies seeking to do business with Edison. Two things, okay, you know, preparation uh, is key. Being prepared to understand your customer and the customers that you desire, okay, you know. Uh, I would encourage businesses to spend an awful lot of time aligning their products to Edison's needs. The fact that you have a great business product, there may be a need for it, there may not be a need for it, but making sure that there's alignment in the technology roadmap that Edison has developed 
uh, going forward for the next 10 years and making sure that the products that you're trying to sell at us and in other customers are aligned in that technology roadmap. If you're interested in pursuing a collaboration with Southern California Edison in the future, here's how. We have any number of outreach activities uh, that would uh, allow an individual to go come to Edison and become a viable uh, business partner for us. Uh, like anything else, most things go to the internet. Go to sce.com and check on our supplier diversity or small business diverse enterprise link and it will walk you through the process. Our, all of our outreach activities all of our certification requirements, and all of our business needs that we would have that are clear to us in the upcoming years to make sure that you have all the information, both from a process standpoint and from a product need standpoint, to allow you to uh, become a viable business partner with Edison. Great, Nelson, you know what it looks like Edison would be a fantastic company to do business with. How about if we repeat their contact information just in case anybody missed it? Well, good idea, Lynette. I like that idea very much. Once again, if you want more information on Edison's vendor programs, go to sce.com and click on Community. If you want to know more about Lee Ann Anderson and the SC Anderson Company, go to scanderson.com. And Dr. Sandra Thomas can be reached at the Quality of Life Center. Web address is qualityoflifecenterinc.com. Well, that wraps it up for us for today's show. I'm Lynette Romero. And I'm Nelson Davis. I want to remind you, we want you to succeed in business and in life. See you next time.